Of the four Javelin exosuits available to pilot in Anthem, the Ranger stands out for being the least unique. But despite being your typical jack-of-all-trades archetype, it manages to keep me hooked with its visceral fighting style. Today in my first Anthem overview, we're going to go into the fundamentals of piloting the Ranger. What is it good for? What are its limitations? And how can you make the best of your time in this suit? Let's get started. The Ranger is well-rounded, but it leans more heavily on offense from mid-range than defense, mobility, and utility. When performing a combo, the Ranger deals increased damage to all targets hit by the detonating ability. Its melee ability Shock Mace is a primer that applies the Shock Debuff. A target with the Shock Debuff will damage nearby enemies. For support abilities, you have a choice between Bulwark Point and Muster Point. Bulwark Point summons a bubble shield around you on activation that absorbs some damage. Muster Point reloads all your weapons on activation and gives you and anyone who steps inside a buff that increases your weapon damage by 20% while it's active. You do not need to stand inside the Muster Point area to keep the buff active. The Ranger's ultimate is Multi-Target Missile Barrage. On activation, it starts locking on missiles to every enemy that's within its targeting window. After all the missiles are locked on, press fire and enjoy the devastation. This ultimate can be activated while flying. The Ranger's default loadout features two detonators, Frag Grenade and Seeking Missile. There aren't any special characteristics in Frag Grenade, but Seeking Missile can stagger enemies or knock some flying enemies out of the sky, which can be helpful if you need some minor crowd control on targets like the Scar Hunter. The main limitation for this loadout and any loadout with two detonators is its reliance on support from teammates for setting up combos and shredding shields. However, the beauty of the Ranger is that it can prime with its shock mace, so you can combo with two detonators all by yourself. But in higher difficulty content or if your gear is lacking armor and shields, you'll find yourself getting destroyed when you charge in. Additionally, you can't combo shielded enemies, and there are a lot of them in Anthem, so again, there are clear limitations to the default loadout despite it being very powerful. The most important thing to remember when you step into this suit is, although it looks and feels like it's supposed to be a boots-on-the-ground soldier, it has the baseline functionality of a javelin, meaning it can double jump, dash, and fly. These three actions are vitally important to your combat flow. Dipping in and out of cover while fighting at mid-range will help you stay alive in an outnumbered gunfight, and your jumps, dashes, and flight will help you close the gap when you're comfortable enough to use your melee. With that in mind, the Ranger's diverse assortment of gear will help you push and pull your functionality in different ways. If you like the idea of being self-sufficient with combos but don't want to melee so much, swap your Frag Grenade for an Inferno Grenade or a Frost Grenade. Inferno Grenades prime and burn targets, which causes damage over time. The Frost Grenade primes and freezes the targeted place for a short time. It's a great crowd control option for unshielded enemies, but it pales in comparison to the freezing abilities the Storm has access to. Which brings me to my next point. The Ranger specializes in single target damage and will always excel at that, so when you build for crowd control, you'll be worse off than a storm that's built for the same thing. Same goes for durability, area damage, and mobility. Being a jack of all trades with a tilt towards single target and small area of effect damage means that while you'll never find yourself in an uncomfortable situation, you'll constantly run into moments where you wish you had the specialties of the other javelin suits. Let's use this battle against an Ursix as an example. These large, grounded enemies have limited access to ranged attacks and are difficult to prime. A storm can hover outside of melee range almost indefinitely and easily dodge out of the way of its rock throws while keeping it constantly primed with abilities like frost shards. My frost grenade isn't strong enough to prime the Ursix with a single activation, but paired with a sniper rifle that applies the same freeze effect as my grenade, I can prime and detonate throughout the encounter. An alternative choice for the Ranger when fighting large, difficult to prime enemies like this would be Venom Darts. This multi-charge ability will apply the Acid Status effect, which increases the target's damage taken. However, Venom Darts aren't perfect. Acid Damage abilities deal reduced damage to shielded enemies, so there's an obvious trade-off. This push and pull is what makes the Ranger so exciting. It's a phenomenal platform to experiment with different damage types and switching between them is meaningful and impactful. To wrap things up, the Ranger isn't the most extravagant of the Javelin exosuits, but that doesn't mean it's not fun, and that certainly doesn't mean it's weak. With the right components and an understanding of how your gear functions and what's required to improve it, you'll quickly become an invaluable member of any team composition. For some final tips, take note of what damage types your build is utilizing. If your gear is primarily blast damage, like the Frag Grenade and Blast Missile, make sure your components enhance that. 
Next, consider the strengths and weaknesses of your equipped gear. Like I said before, Venom Darts are great because of the acid debuff they apply, but they suck against shields. To make up for that deficit, you can use Muster Point and high damage guns to shred the shields and open up targets for your prime and debuff. Last but most important, don't forget to use your movement. The Ranger isn't the fastest javelin, but it can dash, double jump, and fly, and those functions will keep you alive and in the fight. And there we go, that's going to do it for my first Anthem overview. I'm very excited to dive into this game and learn more about the Ranger and of course the three other Javelin exosuits. They're all super amazing and I'm ready to get into it. With all of that said, there's a lot of stuff that I would like to talk about for the Ranger, but if there's anything specific that you'd like me to address, then feel free to let me know in the comments. Finally, I'm not sure which Javelin I'm going to cover next, but stay tuned and you'll find out soon enough. With all of that said, we're going to wrap things up here by saying if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to provide more support than you already do just by watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting, you can head over to patreon.com slash iblueairjgr to become a patron. And one last thing, I want to give another shout out to my three current patrons, Avi, Joseph, and Hassan. You guys are amazing for providing additional support for my channel. You don't have to do it, but you do it anyway, and that's amazing, and I truly appreciate it. Now, as always, the name of the game is Anthem, the name of the channel is iBlueAirJGR. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.